When scientists want to determine what kind of an effect they might have had on a habitat, they have to quantify that habitat in some way. So they use different tools to sample the habitat and get a better picture of what they've done. So we're going to look at three of those different tools. The Daubenmeyer frame, which is a way to sample vegetation. A track plate, which is a way to sample mammals that are in a population. And we're going to look at incidental observations, which is just a fancy way of saying taking a look at the track and sign that animals might have left behind. And remember, this isn't habitat specific. Anywhere you are, you can use these three different techniques to figure out a little bit more about your environment. Biologists use the Daubenmeyer frame to quantify the vegetation that's in a habitat. What the Daubenmeyer frame allows you to do is take an inventory of your vegetation or understand the composition or structure of your vegetation. I've made mine out of wooden sticks, but you can use anything, whether it's PVC pipe or yard sticks or even a hula hoop. It only needs to be a defined space that you can count vegetation in. The first step is to get a map of your area. You want to use a map so that you can lay out exactly where you want to take your samples. And you want to make sure that you sample all the different vegetation types in your habitat. The reason you lay out a grid on the map is so that you can make sure you take enough random samples to get a good picture of what's going on in your habitat. Once you've found your sample point, you're going to toss the Daubenmeyer frame onto the ground. You're going to stand directly over it and take an estimate of either the type of the species that are within the frame or the actual species themselves and the percent cover that each represent. Now you're able to collect data and then you'll be able to take those data back to the lab or to the classroom and analyze it based on the parameters of your study. The Daubenmeyer frame is a simple but effective way of quantifying the vegetation in your habitat. Another way to understand your habitat is to know what types of animals are using your habitat. So there are lots of different ways to do that. Some people use webcams or motion sensing cameras or even traps. But a track plate is an effective and inexpensive way to determine what types of mammals are moving through your habitat. So in order to get the most success with your track plate, you're going to want to put your track plate where two habitats come together, like where a grassland comes together with a woodland. What I use is a vinyl placemat, a tent stake and makeup, uh, cotton makeup remover, clear contact paper, carpenter's chalk, a water mist bottle, and a bait. And the bait you choose kind of depends on you, but what you want is something really stinky that will attract a lot of different mammals to your trap. To build your track plate, first you want to moisten down your track plate. The light layer of mist. Then you're going to set it upright slightly and apply some carpenter's chalk as evenly as you can. Go ahead and be generous. You're going to try to shake it around to even it out a little bit. And then you're going to set it firmly on the ground. You don't want this to move around too much because it'll spook the wildlife that try to use it. Once you've got it set nice and firmly, you're going to take your tent stake and you're going to place it in the cotton right like that. And then stake the plate down into place. Once you've got it staked firmly in place, you're going to take your bait, your stinky bait, and you're going to put it on the cotton mat. Okay, now we're going to let this sit overnight, come back in the morning, and see what we've got. Okay. So the next day, you should see a few little tracks on your track plate. Now, at first, it might seem a little confusing. There'll be a, a big mess because the animals move around on the plate. But if you look very closely, you'll begin to see here's a little track. Here's a nice track. Here's another little one and another and another. So we'd like to preserve these tracks so that we can identify them and study them later. What I like to do is use contact paper. It's just shelf paper and it's clear. And we're going to take off the backing. I'm going to start at one end and move it all the way down to the other end of the track plate. Being careful not to move it once you set it down. 
place it down as best you can and get a reprint. I'm going to pull it up. But you might do some research and find that there are other methods that might be better suited to your habitat. So track plate is a great way to gather some evidence of some of the wildlife that are using your habitat. You can put them along trails, along riverbanks, anywhere that you think that you might be able to attract some good wildlife. One of the really exciting ways to experience your study site is to really see it and to see all the tracks and wildlife sign that are left behind by the animals that visit your habitat. Incidental observations are just a fancy way of saying, I looked and I saw and this is what I saw. And in looking, you get a much better picture of what's going on in your environment. So what you're looking for is evidence of wildlife activity, whether it's their tracks or rubs on trees or even the scat that they leave behind. So the first step in making your incidental observations is to determine your search path. You're going to want to be able to repeat it every time you go out on your observations. So be sure it's something that you can follow, like a trail or a road or a waterway. Oh, this looks different. Look, see how the bark is peeled away a little bit and there's a smooth area right here? Bark doesn't normally grow quite like this, does it? This looks an awful lot like a deer antler rub. Down by the river, there's a really good chance you'll see lots of different wildlife tracks. Here I found a little deer track and two little raccoon tracks that look like little baby hands right here. This looks like raccoon scat. Make note of the location, and if I have a camera, I'll take a picture of it, and then I'll move on. What's really exciting about doing your incidental observations is that as you do it, you get better and better at really seeing what's going on in your environment. It'll also allow you to see deeper and make discoveries about the connections within your habitat. 